Welcome back to In Your Neighborhood. I'm your host, Charlotte Brown, and on today's show, we've been talking with Anita Jean, the manager of Health and Social Programs at North Norwest Community Health Centers. And um, I'm curious as to kind of a little bit about the, the population, talking about the population that you serve. Mm -hmm. So traditionally, uh, we focus on folks that have had barriers to receiving health care, either because of um, past trauma, like you, f you figure if LGBT, lesbian, gay, uh, bisexual, trans, uh, they're not the, the types that will seek health care or have the best um, access, or you look at seniors with complex needs, right? So we will essentially um, make, uh, have them as a priority population in terms of increasing access um, for, for these um, pop groups. The, um, uh, in addition, t uh, we mentioned, we talked about the uh, folks uh, referred to the FASD diagnostic program. And we will also uh, look after the Syrian refugees. Uh, we have quite a few families that are with us, 10 families, uh, a little over 100 people that are, we are looking after. And um, we're also looking at, um, we have a fairly large Aboriginal population that we serve um, at all our sites. And in Long Lac, we have the mandate to serve Francophones as well. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be equipped to be able to serve those populations. And also, if we want to be culturally safe and appropriate, we need, we need some awareness of the barriers, what's appropriate, and really having that, um, the right approach. We focus on low-income populations as well, um, folks with mental health and addictions. And in terms of um, giving appropriate service, um, let me give you a few examples. Some people might need to have reminder calls, mm -hmm. prior to appointments. We might need to um, have other supports like bus tickets, um, some taxi chits for really frail uh, seniors, making sure that we have that as part of the, how we offer services. That's, that's awesome, for sure. And um, that was kind of talking about some of the supports that you provide for clients, so mm -hmm. those things to help them to be able to access he healthcare. Mm -hmm. And also in terms of, um, for example, now there's uh, the whole movement with health links, which is trying to have certain strategies for folks that are either have high cost chronic conditions so that they are, the, the care is more coordinated. When you figure that the 5% of the population using 60% of healthcare dollars, you need to make sure that this is well coordinated. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we have some community health workers working with clients that are qualified or identified as health links. So um, with these four more high cost or chronic conditions, so that if you have other care, uh, some providers involved in their care, you might do case consults. You might also have um, a plan based on the goals, the health goals of the clients. You help those clients formulate those health goals mm -hmm. and uh, um, access the services they need. For example, you might not think of access to a um, to better housing as a health issue, but for someone that doesn't have really good housing, that's their goal, right? So they might need to have help finding a better place to live. They might need to have transportation to get to their appointments. That's when we link them with other services like Red Cross transportation and things like that. So community health workers do provide a lot of those supports for the clients that are, are um, that are that have barriers or struggling a little more than others. Absolutely. And uh, let's talk a little bit about how you engage clients, so like your harm, harm reduction approach. Well, um, if you have someone that is smoking, how effective are you by going, uh, if you tell them don't smoke, right? So if you get to build that relationship with them and is when they're ready, when you, you sense that they're ready, it's like this is something that we need to, uh, this is obviously um, a, a health risk, right? So when they get to be ready, okay, well, would you like to be referred to our smoking cessation program? Or someone that's drinking, well, okay, how can we get to cut back on, on, on that? So we have to 
have non-judgmental staff, obviously, that will be um, able to establish that uh, helping relationship with the client and then have the supports of the client w at the time that they need them. Um, we also will need things like um, explaining our services and our approach to client when they, we accept them in our care. So we'll do either a, um, an intake and orientation to our services in a group setting or we're going to sit down and um, have an indi indi um, uh, indi individual orientation with these folks. The other thing is we haven't seen folks for a while. You haven't been to the center for two years. Well, how is it going, right? So reestablishing that care, checking in with folks, inviting them back in so that we can see how they are, do a health check, and um, reestablish that relationship. Absolutely. Well, I know we kind of just, uh, we went into some things, but some things we, we only just scratched the surface. Before we go, Anita, is there anything that we didn't cover today that you want uh, the public to know about, uh, about Northwest Community Health Centre? Uh, we have uh, a wide array of services, uh, probably something for everybody. If we don't, we can point you to the right service in the community with our community partners to make sure that you access what you need. Wonderful. Well, I want to thank you for being on the show today, Anita. I know we referred to the website a number of times. It's nor norwestchc.org, and we'll put that up on the screen as well. I want to thank you, Anita, for being on the show today and uh, educating the public on all the great work that you do over at nor Norwest Community Health Centre. Mm -hmm. And uh, keep up the fabulous work, uh, and congrats on the new uh, expansion for sure. Mm -hmm. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Be sure to watch next week with more on In Your Neighbourhood.